Uh, hello. I might as well make a YouTube video of this. I'm making some wine, and it should be ready by New Year's Day. It'd be better if it waited longer for two months, but three weeks it should ferment. I'm using brown sugar with the bananas. Brown sugar goes really well with bananas for making wine. I don't have, well, I, it would be nice to afford sugar, the real sugar, like the sugar cane or some other kind of sugar that actually has minerals and nutrients. So I'm using refined sugar for the apples and it gets, uh, there's really no nutrients or minerals from refined sugar. So it's really bad. Refined sugar is bad, but high fructose corn syrup is probably worse as far as the American diet goes. But I'm spinning these apples around. I just started, I just turned the burner on. It will be an hour for boiling. Then I'll add the yeast when it cools down to 95 to uh, 100 degrees. But you're not going to see that. You're not going to see an edited video of drinking wine. Uh, just, uh, six cups of sugar. But I didn't have a measuring cup. So I just guessed. I guessed with the water, too. Uh, Adding grapefruit, one grapefruit, two bananas with the one in the brown sugar, and I'm putting I put a little re white refined sugar in, on, in this pot also. Uh, but these are just apples. I think, well, yeah, I don't know. I could have put some of this in the blender, but before I started, but I. It, the reed's two quarts, so I don't know. Kind of defeat the purpose if you put it in a blender. I don't know. It'd be really nice though if you had an abundance of fruit and you could put it in the blender and fill up the two quarts worth. But it's just mostly water, you know. So you want basically, I think the rule of thumb, you just want to have a hat like a. A decent size a hat, like a big hat, and fill up the hat with like dandelions or whatever you can pick, ivy or violets or something. If uh, you need to find something to make wine with and don't have any money for the grocery store for apples or oranges or bananas, ivy, some some species of ivy. Hit a Rockia Halix or something like that, you know. This is burning right now. So the bottom had something on the bottom. So, but I've got, uh, as you can see here, I've got it on 6 7, and it's a little, it's a little the smoke is coming up a little bit. Um, well, uh,. I guess this is it so for making wine. You have six cups of sugar, two quarts of fruit, one gallon of water, and you boil it. You don't want to really hard boil because most of the water will disappear. And uh, there's some better, some better yeast than this. Maybe you can make your own yeast, but I'm just pick a packet of yeast for later. And when this cools down on the burner to 95 degrees Fahrenheit, 100 degrees Fahrenheit, that's when you add and stir in the yeast. And then you bottle it, and you want to store it in a dark place because the it won't ferment if it's exposed to sunlight. It'll spoil. It'll get really bad, moldy, some bad diseases. So you won't really have wine. And you don't want to put the cap on too tight because you basically create an explosion if the carbon dioxide can't escape so you want to leave some air you don't want to have an airtight seal it's bad things have happened with that and I guess they say in a dry place too uh, where there isn't so much moisture to get to it I, I don't I don't know I though the thinking behind that I don't I think you could just store it in a cellar and it wouldn't be a big deal, but who knows. Uh, so, 
yeah, make homemade wine. It's you don't. I don't really know that much uh, as far as skills go, but uh, yeah, there we are. Uh, hopefully, I'll have more interviews in the future with people of trades and professions. Who knows? Uh, talk to people that do know how to do things. That would that would be interesting. I. I hope the viewing audience will enjoy um, the future, but who knows uh, what will happen. So, um, Merry Christmas.